Alrighty, um, in this clip we're going to be looking at some shapes that um, uh, we don't do a lot of videos on, but um, I mean, we've got a share of videos of ovals and pear shapes up there. And in this particular clip we're taking a peek at three diamonds only. We're going to be looking at a 105 JVS2 oval on the far left. These are all GIA graded diamonds by the way. The center um, oval is a one. ISI 2 and if you're saying to yourself the diamond on the left looks bigger than the diamond on the right you would be accurate okay it certainly has a, um, a bigger spread um, the length and width of 789 by f uh, or 7 or oh, right yeah right at around 7.9 by 5.6 and the diamond the second diamond the second oval is uh, around 785 by 5.6 all right and the third pear shape is a one point uh, KSI 1 all right so uh, I J and K is going to show a little bit um, hint of warmth in the color in these particular shapes uh, I do see it the least as far as the color is concerned I do see it the least in the center diamond, in the eye color. All right. So if that um, if that is a, a persuasion factor, you'll want to take that into consideration. I do see a little bit more of the warmth in the first and last diamond. We're going to look at these diamonds by the window as well. Um, but I like the dimensions and the overall proportions of the pear shape and the first oval the best personally. So if you kind of uh, had. Um, walked into this with the idea that the diamonds you're going to look at had a little bit of warmth to it then you're in good shape <laughs> okay but if you were really just merely after the whitest stone not necessarily the one with the best optics um, the center one although that's not terror I shouldn't say that not the best optics it's, it's, it's not the uh, train wreck for an oval but I do personally lean towards the first and third most. So that's your diffuse lighting. Let's go into spotlighting and look at fire and sparkle. See if there's one that persuades us more than the others there. Okay, and first spotlighting here, we're going into our weaker spotlighting. And as far as internal reflections are concerned, um, again, that, uh, that oval on the far left is, I'd say, grabbing me a little more, okay? and the pear shape then the pear shape would be second so that's my order of preference so far visually we're gonna go by the window and look at these two but this would be one two and then three uh, for me okay. very nice let's gonna go we're gonna go into stronger spotlighting as well now okay here is the stronger spotlighting, and uh, and my my uh, preference is still the same. Okay, as I'm here in this in the stronger spotlighting, and all diamonds are getting equal uh, illumination. Light isn't being blocked more over one diamond than another. Okay. Now we're going to take these by the window and take a gander there too. All right. Now, <clears throat> as I'm here by the window looking at these two ovals side by side, I can see a little bit of a golden tint in the diamond on the right. Okay, and it does look a little bit on the brownish side as opposed to the yellowish side. Okay. And I think we're doing a pretty good job of picking that up in the video also. And you can see it primarily at the tips of the oval. Okay? Um, always in an oval shape and in these kind of fancy shapes like pears and ovals and marquees, you're always going to get your color concentration at the tips of the stone and not as much as across the belly. So this diamond here, the ISI2 on the left, is, you know, if color was influencing my decision, 
then really it would be a clear choice for the diamond on the left. All right, so there is that comparison. Now what I'm going to do now, and, and really, like I said, it's not a train wreck of a cut, um, but you know, so I do prefer the optics a little more so in this diamond on the right. So if you don't mind that little tint of color, you're okay. Let's go to the pear shape now. Okay. Oh. All right. Now here is that pear shape. Now I don't get, I don't see that um, the color in the pear shape as much as I did in the oval. Okay, let me see, I'm going to see if I could get all three of them in the picture here for you. Do a little juggling act for you. And here is a visual comparison of those three here in the natural daylight. All right. Very cool to see and compare these side by side in this lighting because this is showing you the real deal. We saw the color earlier in the indoor diffuse light. And here is the pear and that oval side by side. So if this oval, I mean in the pear shape are your strongest considerations more so for the optics over the color, then I might be um, more leaning towards the pear than I would the oval. So, but I don't want to, uh, you know, try and persuade you either way. We're giving you enough data and information in the video to make a judgment call with. And which one you go with will be up to you. I just wanted to give you the facts. Okay, here's, here's from the angles, from the tilt angles. Alright. Here's where the information on a GI report becomes redundant. Because this, the GI report's not going to show you this. Okay. The cut on that oval is nice though. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this has helped. And you'll email Sarah back and let her know um, which direction you'd like to go at this point. Thank you for watching.